Good evening. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, please come back forever. Forever. And like and subscribe and follow us along. <laughs> and talk to our our secretaries. I can't hear you because it's so busy in here and we're not used to that. Look at all these people. Who are they? We thought this was our secret gem, but apparently it's just the talk of the town when you're here after we 10 o'clock in the morning. We only come here early. So I got cheer wine. I got, Cheers. I got some IPA. And look at this creepy eyeball. Oh, so spooky. Is this Christmas? Yes. Oh my goodness. I got a whole gravy boat of <laughs> Lost your breath. Lost my breath. Guys, we've been talking for oh. two weeks how we were gonna come here on a Friday to get that, and I didn't even get it. Rude. But I, I went out to lunch with my coworkers. All right, so I got the hail kale salad, which has got non croutons, like pickled onions and watermelons, and avocado and all that good stuff, and blackened corn. The thing is, I got a Beyond Burger for lunch from Yard House today by Orlando Eye, but I also got this grilled tempeh. Uh, taco. So like, I got good stuff. Live cheese. All right. Beer cheese. You guys know. We've never had the beer cheese. Is it good? Oh, I want to try it. My insides are tingling. Ooh, creepy. All right, super cheesy. But one of the things I do like think is very true about being like veg vegetarian or vegan is how colorful the, the plates look. And look at this taco. That is a colorful taco. Got. Pineapple, fresh onion, other stuff, vegetables, other plants, Peter? and more plants. Is it delicious? It's so good. You have to take a bite right now. Isn't it? What kind of burger is it? It's like a, it tastes like a broth. Oh, that's right, it's a broth, but okay, I'll try it. That's my happy dance. That's your happy dance? Mm -hmm. Why are you so happy? Because there's a lot for free parking for four hours. We have lived here almost two whole months now. We have never been to Park Avenue to enjoy it yet. And most of it is now closed because most of it closes <laughs> at eight. But we're going to sneak in one or two shops before nine that are open. And we're just going to cruise it because it's beautiful. And I've run this like a lot now. Yeah. This is where I do most of do my running. Do you have running. to run tonight? Yeah. Oh my gosh, another 25% off. Well, it's better if we show them the front of us across. It's so cool. Honestly, there's like three things I've wanted, four things or five things I've wanted to do since we moved here on Park Avenue. This is probably one of the top two things. And 25% off, let's go shopping. We're not really going shopping. We're going <laughs> window shopping. And there's a cool staircase to go upstairs. We got three feet in and Sarah goes, well, you see, we need a big blanket like that. And she just starts rubbing her forearms and everything. This is... Why she's my best friend. <laughs> but you know, like something like really flush. That and evil love too. This chair is nice. This is the staircase that has been drawing me, and you can see the staircase from the street. And we've never we've been on Park Avenue before we moved here, but no, oh, like a not like this. I do a feed shot. Ooh. But look how cool this lamp is. I think we need it. But the ridiculous thing is, it's four hundred dollars. But that is everything I need and more. In this view, can you see this? We didn't show up, but beautiful Christmas section. Our goal by the end of this year is to make our room as cozy as can be with five blankets and drapes that are gorgeous and lovely. We have like a whole new quilt set. Yeah. We just have to like get a bed frame and like do it up. Yeah. And a pad, I think, a new mattress pad. I feel extra like we're back in the city again because Stopped to get a Starbucks there. We're in the washroom. I wanted a coffee because I think the rest of Park Avenue might be closed. This pop shop 
um, might still be open that our buddy Sean told us about. And uh, we're gonna come back with Sean, but we just wanna scope it out, give a preliminary look over, give a little look ski. See, like, is it all like bottles, fountains? Sarah specifically didn't get a fancy tea here because she was thinking about getting a little pop over it. I think it's called fizzy pop. I have no idea. We should go, just in case it pours us soon. We were off with the name. It's called the Rocket Fizz Soda Pop in the Candy Shop. Oh. I think I'm gonna hide it. Okay, I just came in by myself to see if there's anything I really liked. Um, grass. I'm looking for like a mint julep pop. Look at this display. I gotta take a picture of this. What? <laughs> oh, dad's root beer. And balls. Balls. <laughs> Where did Peter see it? He said he saw dad's root beer. Oh, right. Oh, well, that's dad's orange cream soda. My mom couldn't even find dad's this year. Oh, there's red cream soda. Am I just totally missing it? Cookie dough. Cucumber, that actually might be good. Mustard. Dad's root beer, there it is. That's like an October staple in my mom's house. This is a Chicago brand, so you see the Chicago star. This is what my mom gets now because we can't find that. Wow. We are saved. Peter loves cream soda. I wish I liked it, I just really don't. I know that he used to get one brand all the time when he was little. So, I'm gonna go back slow so I can show it to him. Maybe I'll get it for him. Let alone all the candy. Holy smokes. So we decided to come back when Peter can get like a really good scope. I'll drink my coffee in the meantime. <laughs> but that place is open until 11. I don't know why the rest of Park Avenue closes and that place is bumping until 11 on the weekend. And there's a ton of people in there. Yeah. That was super cool. There was like so many, so many different flavors. And there is Green River. There was I, one that was like bloody nose. Oh. I, <laughs> I called Sarah's mom to let her know that they had dad's root beer. Did you talk about that? Yeah. Because she was having a hard time finding it in Chicago, but she did find it in Chicago. And she's like, I bet they have Green River. And I was like, no, they're not going to have Green River. They never would have Green River. It's too do. special. Sarah walks out, they have Green River. <laughs> <laughs> we went into this just little cutesy tootsy shop. And this hand lotion I lived on in Chicago. My hands get so dry, especially working in the paper company or the printing company. It's like that scent is like a me memory. Oh my gosh. In. Peter something. Nope, it's it's almost me. I'm oh. Peter Brook. This is Peter Brook. <gasps> Chocolatier. So it's like if my heart got torn out. Oh gosh. This would be what I would do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, oh it's stuffed. Medium and large turkeys are very, very fragile. Do not touch them. These are giant chocolate turkeys. They're stuffed with popcorn. They're stuffed with popcorn? I'm stuffed. I feel like we may end up driving to one of our trips to, well, at least Christmas, but if we end up driving to Thanksgiving, we should bring one of these. <laughs> if we drive for Thanksgiving, we should get one of these and bring it home. Okay. That is so cool. This whole place is fancy. Ooh, he's a pirate making sure his doubloons are real. There's, there is, there's a legitimately a Koei pond on Park Avenue. Put a comment down below. No, nay, don't put a comment, Sarah. Drop in here. Koei ponds. Michael Scott, John Krasinski, the man of my dreams. We are outside, but inside. These are big fish. Oh, I don't, I do. So this is writer's block bookstore. We've never been in it. All I've wanted to do is go in it and it's still open. Do you want but I have a coffee, they may not let me in. But we can try. There's no sign. Oh, I love bookstores. It was closed. She said sorry. She did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. We live here now. This is our new church, right? Yeah. Let's go this weekend. Yeah. We gotta start going. Yeah. 
We never, there wasn't one close and we did not put in the effort to go to the one that was far. So that's on us. St. Margaret Mary. Tiffany Lamps. Tiffany Lamps, a whole? A whole thing. A whole exhibit? So we have to bring Sue there. So I don't think we like, I just wanted to show this real quick, this perspective of Park Avenue. There's a Lululemon, fancy stores down there, Lily Paltzer, great restaurants. We're gonna, we're gonna hit these restaurants soon. Sarah and I talked about how we need, like it's all great, these like pure vegan restaurants because there's like nine or ten awesome ones especially yeah, in orlando like awesome plant-based but even close to us where we live in the northern part of yeah. orlando but we also need to go back to like our chicago roots of like city restaurants because there will be plant-based uh, right i had a salad tonight and i can get a salad at almost any restaurant right so it's not like you where you got the the pseudo like a very burger yeah with like that you cheese. couldn't get that anywhere yeah. else i got a salad that i could get anywhere else yeah so. And it's always fun to like the seating areas outside and the bars. And, and it's fun to see like non-Disney, like what we call like city restaurants or Chicago restaurants yeah. because that's our vibe. Yeah. That's city Sarah. Wow, this has been such a great night. Yeah. Just walking around, mm -hmm. feeling like a This is what we would do in Chicago. So. Yeah. I mean, if you watch Vlogmas. Yeah. And guys, an idea. if the time ever comes when we move back to Chicago, pause for dramatic effect um we would be moving to downtown chicago or the north side of chicago and the thing is sarah and i lived down there for a year after we got married but we were not able i don't have we ever talked about this like we weren't able to like fully enjoy downtown chicago mm -hmm. because i was still working overnights while going to college and going to school so like when i was at work peter was at school so then he would go home and sleep and then I would like wake him up after I made dinner and then he'd go to work. So like we really only had like your actual days off. And that would typically be Saturday and Sunday, but Saturday would turn into like sleeping most of it. Yeah. Cause I'd catch up from being exhausted from getting we three really hours had, of sleep. We like a handful of like exciting, fun days out and about. We lived but, there like, for 11 months. Every single yes. day. Yes, so that's why like when people often ask like, are we moving to Chicago? Like, I think it would be a year or two away at, at most. Like, if we had a revelation, like, oh, we want to go, it would be still a year or two away. There's yeah, things we got to do. We'd have to do it right. We'd have to do Disney right. We'd have to do moving to Chicago right. <laughs> but if the time comes, we're still going to vlog yeah. because we're going to get to enjoy downtown Chicago and all the neighborhoods of Chicago right. every single night because I'm going to get a 9 to 5 if we were to ever move back. It would be a 9 right. to 5, probably downtown. So similar fun to this, but, like, also add, like, Parks, big city and like skyscrapers right a giant lake way more food going on boats going on giant ferris wheels yeah. now i threw away my coffee so we can go back into rocket oh, it says made in america six lids are my jam mom actually didn't buy them this year because nobody else eats them but me wow <laughs> and now i i won't eat them Alrighty, so we're home. This is our little haul. Peter got these two balls. They're energy drinks. They kind of like have a cream soda y taste about them. Um, I tried this chocolate. I don't know. I think I'm going to have this tomorrow. I'm going to put that in the fridge. And then this blue raspberry. I'm going to drink while Peter goes on his run. I don't know if anything this color is safe to consume, but we're going to try it out. Well, well, well. She is three seconds away from falling deep asleep on this no! couch, on our comfy couch. She drank her fancy pop. I'm gonna go dive myself into that corner because I ran my three miles. And so we got. We started watching the show while I was on rest. I didn't even know, but we watched season two first. And then season one, because Peter started watching it, we were staying at Katie's, and then I was like, let's just go back and watch it. Yeah, and we didn't have this beautiful couch. <laughs> yeah. So, we gotta Madeline dive back like in. A, a wimpy cough. I think it's just you've been tired all day. I think you need to so, sleep. Alright, today's message is by Elizabeth Gilbert. And she says, embrace the glorious mess that you are. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Also, it's really sunny because we fell asleep on the couch and nobody signed off.
it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>